You know, I was 40 years old when I decided to change careers. I was selling motorcycles for Harley Davidson, but it just didn't pay really, really well. It wasn't something that I saw long term, but I noticed all these places were hiring for barbers. You know, without mentioning any names, one nationwide brand of uh, hair cutters was hiring and it was paying better than what I was making doing what I was doing. And I thought, well, if that, you know, if that place pays that well, then I'm sure being a real barber at a real barber shop would pay even better. One of the reasons why I decided to open things up when I did, a lot of it was because of my age. You know, I just kind of willed it into existence. I just kept saying, I'm gonna be 45 this year. I wanna open my own shop. I wanna open my own shop. I was really successful at the last place I was at and I just kept buying a bunch of toys. You know, I bought a third motorcycle. I bought a second car. I bought a truck. It put me in a situation where I had to sit down and look in the mirror and say, what is it that I'm really searching for? And it dawned on me that I was very comfortable. I hearken back to the days when I was in barber school. I had my daughter three nights a week. I had worked four nights a week. I worked at the school six days a week. You know, I was spread so thin, but I was filled with purpose. And here I was, fast forward, I was very successful. I was only working one job. I had a lot of time on my hands and I was just at a point when I, where I was ready to grow and I was ready to be uncomfortable again. I started looking at some listings and none of it was working. You know, a lot of it was just vanilla boxes and strip malls. And um, I was actually just driving up High Street and I was headed to look at a different listing and I got stopped at the light. I got stopped at the light uh, right in front of the shop at High Street and Garden. I, I Googled the address. It used to be a place called the Sculpture Room and a guy named Dick Peck had been here cutting hair for 45 years. And I was absolutely floored by that information. It just felt really, immediately felt serendipitous. What we had done as far as, you know, taking the, the space down to pretty much just bare studs and starting with an empty shell. From laying my eyes on it, it has exceeded all expectations. I love the intimacy of working with people. And I love that one-on-one -on -one connection of, of having conversations and what I refer to as 30-minute relationships. You know, I've got somebody in my chair for about a half an hour and some of those people have become some of my best friends. Rathbone's Barbershop is more than just a, the neighborhood barbershop. I want it to be more than just like a haircut factory. I want it to be a place where you can come in and, you know, I want it to be cheers. I want it to be where everybody knows your name and you come in and we hang out and maybe you come about 10 or 20 minutes before your haircuts and you stick around and have a beer and sit and hang out for half an hour or so after it's done. I want the door to always be open. I want, you know, a level of, of comfort and hospitality that exceeds more than just cutting hair.